Nice. Holy moly. So, here we are again, YouTube. And you want to know how to make this much dollar every few hours. Stick around, because I'm going to show you how. So imagine, if you will, for a moment, a scav run that is so unbelievably easy, so gloriously uncontested, that you could make 500,000 to a million rubles consistently every run in no longer than about 15 minutes. It's a very easy run consisting of stashes across shoreline. So join me on a little journey as I show you the routes that I take to make all this juicy dollar. Now, right off the bat, I want to show you this. This is an interactive map of shoreline. It's going to look very cluttered, very overwhelming at first. But if you come over to the left, you can click this hide all button. That gets rid of all of these, all of the different things on the map. Now, what we're going to be looking at is this one here, the caches. There is a whopping 40 of these beauties across the map. This is the resort up here. This is the village. This is the swamp area. Look how many caches there are. And look how close they are together. There is an absolute mountain of them around here. You've also got a nice run down the bottom, collecting a load of caches around here, around in the corner. If we scroll a little bit further down, we can turn on the extraction so you can see you've got the, the tunnel, the ruined road, the dead end, the ruined house fence, north fence passage. You've also got the road to customs. These are amazing extracts for us on our scav runs. However, something else that I do want to show you is you want to learn these locations. If you click on one of these it brings up a, a photo sorry of what it is and you can click it again and it zooms up so you can find where these are so there is a spawn for example over down this area you can find out where this one is you see it's right at the edge of the map where the river is there's a bush use this rock for example as a reference you'll be able to find this cache so i highly recommend becoming best friends with this while you're learning the different caches around the map and I'll put the link to this down in the description below. So in this raid here, I've spawned by the swamp and I've got Road to Customs, Lighthouse and the Ruined Road as my extracts. So for me, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to run around the swamp area, get all the stashes around here, head down towards the village and then just use the Ruined Road to extract. So I actually stay all within the same area. This makes it nice and quick and easy and I don't have to cross over the center of the map. And I actually think it's a lot easier to learn the map if you split it into a left side and a right side. So with this, speed is the name of the game. On shoreline, you typically spawn with like 14 to 20 minutes to be able to get as many of these juicy stashes as possible and then get out. So the first thing you need to do is double check where your extract is and then plan your route accordingly. You're either going to be on the west side of the map or the east side of the map most of the time. So just plan out where you're going to be going to. If it's Road to Customs, there is a whole host of stashes for you to just gobble up all that juicy loot. Take it, take it and, and just run. Just run, just full send it with this. Speed, as I said, is the name of the game. You see a stash, you have it in your head, you sprint straight for it. You don't care about players. There's no players around when you spawn on shoreline. There's no other scavs really around when you spawn on shoreline as a scav. You just go straight for the stashes. You just take them. It's yours. They are free for the taking. You full send it. You don't even crouch. You don't even go prone when you take these stashes. You just run straight to them. You just stand up, you look at them, take that loot, you take it, you shove it in your bag, you get rid of the other crap that might be in there, you replace it with the good stuff, and then you get out. 500k, 1 million rubles, 15 minutes, easy peasy. 
So yeah, just plan out your route. Go straight from stash to stash. Sprint it. Don't worry about players and scabs. You don't have to worry about a thing. You just go yeet, full send, right there. Take it. And off you go. But I do highly recommend you learn these stashes. Maybe in an offline run first. So you know the route to go. Because you are so time bound. But once you learn it. It's beautiful. And you know what? Thinking about this as well. I know some of you will be like. But Ben. Why not just do Lighthouse? There's like. Rogue loot. And there's loads of high value loot. You can just get like bitcoins and things around. And true. While you can do that. And it can be very good and very successful. In my experience, it is way more contested. I have died to player scabs more times than actual players on Lighthouse trying to do a loot run. Because everybody just bum rushes right over to the water treatment area, to the rogues. And scabs will shoot you on site on the hopes that you've got a GPU or a vertex or something in your backpack. So I don't find it anywhere near as consistent. And that's why I find this a much better run because I hardly ever see a player scav. And I think in the last 100 runs, I think I've seen one player. So if I'm honest, this is way, way safer. And consistency in this game is what's going to make you rich. And here at the end of this raid, this might not look like much, but it's actually like 630k's worth of stuff. And that adds up very quickly, considering how fast these runs are. So yeah, I've got a tip for you in a second. But during this run, I have found some of the best items in the game. I have found Gazelle, if that's how you call it, the tier 5 armor. I have found folders of intelligence. I have found all manner of high tier guns. Really good loot, streamer items galore, which are worth a fortune, by the way. Um, and it just really adds up super, super quick. So I definitely recommend learning this map. As I say, split it from the east side of the map and the west side of the map and just learn each side individually because I normally find that I do one and then extract and then do the other and then extract. And then in the next rate, it just it depends where you spawn. But you don't have enough time to do all of one side, go to the other, and do all of the other one. So that's how you want to work it. Just learn one side, learn another side, get a route in your head that you like to do, and just absolutely rush it, get all that juicy loot, and then extract. But the other tip I have is there are three places which scavs often die at in the middle because there's a lot of tasks of people to kill scavs and stuff on shoreline. And you'll find that scavs are just dead on the floor there. The tip is for, depending on what backpack you spawn with, if you even spawn with a backpack at all, you can go down to the gas station down the south in the middle, the factory in the middle of the map, the very center. And then just up from that, you have the bus stop. They, they're very central. You go around to them a lot, or you might even just pass through them on most of your raids. Um, and it's worth checking to see if any of the scavs there are dead to get a bigger backpack so you spawn the tea bag and then you can pick up like a scout backpack and continue to loot more so that's my other kind of final tip but other than that remember you can catch me live at twitch.tv forward slash benly underscore tv and like subscribe discord really appreciate it all comment for the algorithm and i'll see you guys in the next one cheers